Next one's from Joe I am, and it's from the subject is Jeff screwed Jeff. Peace and blessings, guys. Thanks for being one of the few pro wrestling based channels that's not afraid to upset the pussified snowflakes of today. Well, you're welcome for that. My question is this. Did Jeff Jarrett shoot himself and TNA in the foot when he, owner and founder of the company, married Kurt Angle's wife? If my memory serves right, he was sent home immediately without him being there to oversee the product. Plus, Dutch Mantel and the other top agents loyal to Jeff were also sent home. The overall product nosedive and has not recovered since. Do Disco and Conan have any recollection of the of uh, or other knowledge of what happened behind the scenes when Kurt, Dixie, the boys, and everyone else found out? I'm certainly no expert in running my own wrestling company. But sleep with my top star's wife behind his back, and the words of a wise man that doesn't work for me, brother. Thanks and happy holidays, Joe. I am. Let me let, real quick, um, real quick, because I think he may have. Did he just uh, slyly insult you, Disco, without knowing? Because around that time, they sent home Cornette and Dutch, and then Russo brought in Farrar. Did he bring you back too? So he's saying that the guys that Vince brought in uh, kind of knows. No, I've been product. gone for a while. You never, no. you never want creative again after '09. No. No, I thought you were. No, I just. No, after oh nine, I, w- I was I, I left in oh eight. To I, I was in Vegas in oh eight. So you weren't even with the company when that scandal no. broke. Okay. No, uh, but I will say this: it's funny when I'd heard the rumors of Jeff and and uh, what's her name, right? Karen. Karen. I I called Vince, and because I really wouldn't connect with that, I just heard rumor. They called Vince. I said, Vince is, is is Jeff dating Karen Angle? He's like, uh, no, not that I know of. Bro, he said one day he's at Jeff's house and like Karen came down the stairs like and like Jeff was Vince was like Vince had no clue. Literally Vince and Dixie were like the only two people that did not know what was going on. I guess so. You know, and that that's why Dixie felt very upset about that and basically sent Jeff home after that, you know. You know how that story came out? Oh. There was a random uh, TNA worker or backstage, whatever they were, and they used like a voice modulator, and they called Bubba the Love Sponge that show, and they and they talked about it on there. That's where it first broke, and then it was you know online and all over the place. But yeah, but everybody, were you working there, Conan? No, but I I do remember people telling me that you know uh, you know they had to keep them apart. That Angle wanted to beat his ass, uh, and yeah, I think that Jeff, even though the guy said that he shot himself in the foot, maybe temporarily because now he's a vice president of WWE yeah. and he's mar- and he's still married to her. So you know, but um, I think yeah, he should have. You know, you don't just pop that up on your boss. You know, he should have told her ahead of time, and that's probably why she got it. Uh, he got heat, but you know, I don't think that that um when jeff was there the company was no mo- nose diving because he brought in adr morrison lax austin aries then scott came in and he brought in like callahan lucha bros tessa so it did not nose dive after him one thing know? uh that i remember is and i always thought this was unbelievable was that they they did work an angle around it and i guess it was a couple of years later so things had cooled off but they still did things in front of kurt like jeff and karen renewing their vows and like making out like right in his face in the ring and you know i think jeff went over on him a couple of times like man that's got to be tough the guy kind of you know slid in and, and took your wife and now you got to lay down for him as well and work with well, you him. Do, you just can't take her she had that wanted to go along oh, you're too. right you're right yeah takes two to tangle here yes